I think that a lot of parents are, have mask fatigue on behalf of their children. COVID daily case counts are dropping, hospitalizations are leveling off, and death tolls are decreasing. They're ready to tolerate a higher baseline of transmission in order to take off the mask. North Carolina Superintendent of Public Instruction Katherine Truitt says it's time for local school leaders to reconsider mask wearing in schools. At the end of the day, a local board of education has the ability to pass a vote to unmask children. I think parents are at a place where um, they're more interested in deciding for themselves if they want their child to mask rather than there being a, a district wide mandate. On February 10th, the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services removed the contact tracing recommendation for school students and staff in the Strong Schools NC Toolkit. It's something most school districts follow closely. Right now, masking up indoors is encouraged. I would like to see the toolkit go away. I think that it's time for um, the toolkit to be perhaps something that just provides data to districts to allow them to make um, informed decisions. One piece of data she wants DHHS officials to provide, the number of children hospitalized because of the virus. They always share hospitalization rates for adults, but I would like to see what the hospitalization rates are for children.